I got acquainted with this guy called Cyclin Mikey. And he is a tout. He touts on drivers that are using their phone. Uh, when people get caught, rather than just going, ah, you got me, so sorry, uh, shit one, uh, I'll wise up, I'll do better. They go mental and try and, you know, argue their point and, you know, attack Cycling Mikey. But um, <laughs> it never looks good. It never looks good uh, for the person that gets caught. If you get caught out doing something bad or wrong or something, just cop to it and go, oh, no, I'm so sorry. I will do better because then people will be on your side. But if you go mental like this next guy we're about to see, then everyone's going to hate you and mock you and leave thousands of uh, comments in the YouTube section uh, that wanting you dead. <laughs> this one is called Bizarre Tirade, open quotes, I have honor, dot, 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 integrity, close quotes. The list is um, license plate here as well. All right, without further ado, it's Cycling Mikey. Take it away, Mikey. So as we can see here, we've got a guy in an open top convertible and he's futzing around in his phone doing all sorts of copies and pastes. And this is Cycling Mikey with a head mounted camera here uh, glaring down into the car. He's realized he's been scooped. There's the face of a guilty man here. That's the face of a guy that he don't want no cycling Mikey anywhere near him. Just want to get a look at these big uh, blue, these big gorgeous blue eyes as he realizes. I wish we could actually see what he was typing. Because I think part of it might be he's actually raging at what he thinks cycling Mikey might have seen what he's typing in there. Organizing some kind of uh, affair. <laughs> Some sort of sordid sensual tryst at a hotel with a rent boy or something, maybe. Hide bodies, dissolve brains in bleach. Obviously joking. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, I'm good. So he thinks it's just a bit of fun. It's just a bit of fun. All right, buddy, how we doing, mate? You all right? Oh, things are about to get a whole lot worse. Hi, buddy. Hi. Right, sir? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah. Why do you think I'm filming you? The penny has dropped. <laughs> Any idea? No idea, yeah. It's funny how you guys don't want to admit it. Carry on. I'm stationary, he said. That's one lie that he's made. Cycling right Mikey, nothing gets past him. So he is moving. Texting with two hands like an absolute grander. Any idea? I'm stationary. I don't know. No idea, yeah. It's funny how you guys don't want to admit it. Carry on. <laughs> Carry on. I'm ex military, brother. I I'm ex military. <laughs> oh, well, you're Here's excused. See you, Oxers. <laughs> you are excused then. What's on the passenger seat is washing up. Yes, lots of antibacterial wipes. Lots of... I'm just going to go ahead and say... A murder kit. Go and admit it. Carry on. <laughs> Carry on. I'm ex-military, brother. I have honor, integrity... Oh, yeah, you're, you're messaging away in your phone. So I love that. From zero to giving his entire... Family history. <laughs> he served in two Oxter Wars. <laughs> right, so in case anybody can't hear what he's saying, let's listen to this about seven or eight, nine times. Oh, it gets better. Okay. No idea, yeah. It's funny how you guys don't want to admit it. Carry on, <laughs> carry on. I'm ex military, bro. It's funny how you guys don't want to admit it, I think he says. I have honor, integrity. Oh, yeah, you're, you're messaging away in your phone. So I think he says, um, I have honor, integrity, as he drives forward, uh, shouting over his shoulder with one hand on his chest. And I think he says something about my, my brother died there or something. I have honor, integrity. It's, I love when people get caught out doing something bad and they immediately give you their sob story as if that has anything to do with what's going on. Let's continue with this Patrick Bateman-esque fella. Oh yeah, you're, you're messaging away in your phone. My brother died something something mission? Hey brother, I have honor, integrity. 
Sacred Let's see if the captions uh, pick up what he says here. Oh, yeah, you're, you're messaging away in your phone. My brother died something for a mission. We're not laughing at your brother's death. In fact, none of us believe that you are anything to do with the military. Look at that. That is a PTSD stare there. So now I do believe. So look, he's driving. <laughs> His car is angled. There's where the road is, and he's driving off the road. Stolen valor, question marks, is rare witch. I have honor, integrity. Oh, yeah, you're, you're messaging away in your phone. They were special forces on the youngest of three military brothers. Died for our country to do things right and to help other people. It died for this country to do things right. Does he say, I died for this country to do things right? Died for our country. Right. I'm the youngest of three military brothers who died for this country to make things right. This is an absolute Marcus Sweeney here. Here's my message to you, Oxers. To help other people. Well, you're endangering other people here now, aren't you? So, Pay attention to your driving, sir. What you do and say to other people judging them when I was following the correct protocols. Like, like you were messaging by the wheel. And the law. I mean, this is like, that delivery is so comedy sketched. Pay attention to your driving, sir. What? Now, we know when there's a public freak out, when someone, uh, when someone tells the person that's freaking out what to do, that makes them go extra mental. So, pay attention to your what, driving, sir. What you do and say. Watch what you do and say. When people speak like this, I feel like they probably have toddlers running about the house and that's how they speak to the toddlers as well. We fought the Nazis for the right to read our phones whilst driving. When I was- He might die. <laughs> I love that move there. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> There's nothing better than that. Referring to a time back there when things were better. <laughs> <laughs> do and say to other people judging them when i was following the correct protocols the only reason you're angry and they're having a discussion is because you were not in fact following the correct protocols facing the wrong way but like you were messaging by the and the law <laughs> following the correct protocols of the highway and the law the claw do you have anything else to say it's cycling Mikey, so I'm going to assume, yes, he's got a lot to say. No, tell it to the magistrate. Fine. What have I done wrong? You tell This is like Adam and Joe, this is. For me. No. I've made my point enough in the biggest possible picture of. Fuck me. Sorry for the bad language. This is. This is Marcus Sweeney. I've made my point enough in the biggest possible picture. No, tell it to the magistrate. Fine. What have I done wrong? You tell me. No. I've made my point enough in the biggest possible picture of humanity. What we were prepared to do to die or live for others and ourselves. So Here's my message I have nothing to you, further Oxford. to say to you at all. And if you don't get it, that's your challenge. Not problem, challenge, challenge. to overcome and help other people. No, I'm I would say that's probably your political career just finished right there, mate. If you're doing this at someone, you have aspirations to be in politics. And with that, it's finished. It's over. That's it. Sorry, Cycling Mikey's done you, mate. Helping other people by stopping phone drivers like you. I give up. It almost hits this pedestrian as he speeds away, looking in the opposite direction. Cycling Mikey puts a little caption here. He says, perhaps pay more attention and not accelerate towards pedestrians when you haven't looked. As he speeds away in his stolen Valor chariot. Look at her! <laughs> yeah, she gives him a wee look. I wonder. He is obviously uh, looking the other way. That was an unusually angry one. So this person here is apparently a journalist photographer that's following him, doing a story about him. 
Why? When people get caught in the wrong, they often get upset. When people get caught in the wrong, they often get upset. Thus, the Connor G Show was born. All right, welcome in, everybody. That was an epic tirade, courtesy of Cycling Mikey. Pick up Cycling Mikey! Oh, 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 oh.